video, I'll show you how to extract one row item using Power Automate using the Dataverse connector, but just by querying using the name. So just to make it clear, now I have this model driven app over here. So this has a list of hospital name, location, email, and there are many columns in it. Now, if I want to iterate through this record, what I need to do is like I will be using Dataverse connector, right? So if I go into the flow, so I have the simple flow named as get first item. So the goal is to get the item by name. So if I go into Dataverse connector, here, if I want to iterate, I have an option named as get a row by ID. So what I can do, if I select the table, hospital table, then just by knowing the ID, I should be able to get the row item. Okay, so if I know this ID, I can easily extract QLD children's hospital text. Or maybe if I get this row ID, I'll be able to extract this value. But think about a scenario whereby you do not have this ID. You have maybe just a name and you want to extract the row item just by using the name. So in order for you to do that, what you need to do is uh, there is no direct way in Dataverse whereby you can say get a row by ID. OK, so if I just show you the Dataverse connector. So these are the options which we have. So if you want to extract a row, that is uh, an option uh, called as get a row by ID. Now there's nothing called as get a row by name or something. Okay. So if you if it doesn't exist, then what you can do if you want to extract something, uh, let me close this, delete this. And now what I'm going to do, I'm going to use the list rows operation. Okay. So list rows. Now here in list rows operation, I need to specify the table. So the table name is hospital. So I'll just select hospitals and that's it. Now, if you want to specify that uh, I want the specific item. So what you can do, you can just take the column. So hospital name is a column. So let me find the logical name of that specific column so this is the logical name of this column and i'll say i want say coastal healthcare okay so i will just filter out the row and i'll say equal that is eq and then the name in single quotes okay so so the name is coastal healthcare let me copy this And what will happen is like it will then extract the, the specific row only. So the output would be just one row. So let's first run this and see whether it just gives you an output of just one row. So I'll just test this manually, test and run the flow. And once you run the flow, you should be able to see the output. Now this is the output of that flow execution. So if I see the output in the form of a body, so I have this tool JSON create desktop, I'll just paste the output over here. As you see over here, because of that filtering, it has given the value as one. Okay, so we got this one value. Now we just need to extract the name of that specific column. Okay, so the name of this column may be, uh, so we are querying by the hospital name, right? And we can extract other parameters. So other parameters, like there are so many parameters over here. So take, for example, if you want to extract, uh, say, the location, okay, the location of that particular hospital. So if you want to extract the location of this hospital, then uh, you can just click on this column over here and then see. So the location is uh, CRD 38 underscore location. So this is the uh, logical name. Now, how do we extract this? Okay, so if you want to extract this, what we can do is we can write a compose. So if I just write a compose, okay, and I just select, okay, so if I go over here and it was use a dynamic content, okay, and if I just type in location, watch what happens over here. Now, as we know that we are just getting the output 
from this list row so this hospital uh, table has say five records in it or six records in it now we have just filtered out and then we just say one record we are only concerned about the one record but if we select this location it will automatically add a loop over here because it, the output of this list row is an array of items now yes array has just one item but still it will add a loop okay so if we add this so let me click on escape and if we say location as you see over here it says for each now what it will do it will iterate through the component and then it will give you that value but we do not want this scenario this will run you know this will run properly and then you will get the output but we don't want this thing to happen right because we don't want unnecessary going through the for loop right so what if you want to get the item directly so in order to get that specific item what you can do is again i'll get rid of this loop and now here again compose is our friend so i'll just say compose and here we need to write a power effects okay now what power effects we need to write is uh, a simple one first thing is we need to get an output from here the list rows right so see i have just uh, named it as list rows so i've removed the space uh, now what you can do is you need to first get the outputs from list rows so i'll just say outputs of list rows once you get the output of list rows what else do you want now what we will be iterating through the body of the value okay now why body of the value like as you see in the json grid desktop or json grid over here this is the output we are getting right now this entire string we are getting it from the body of the output right and this is the body and then within the body we have the value and within value we have an array so that means body slash value and then all the items within that so that's why our formula if you write the formula it will say outputs of list of row and we can either write this way body value okay or maybe if you want to shorten it what you can do you can just combine this whole together so you just say body slash value and this will get the output of the body slash value so you get the entire array items okay but within that array item, we just want the first item, okay? Because the list row will give you entire collection of the item, right? So we just want the first item, okay? So that's the first item. So it will give you the first row, which is good. But what do we want from here? We want a location field. So we just say question mark, square bracket, single quotes, and the location data over here now the location data is coming from that specific field location i'll just say click on add and let's see what is going on over here so we have just say first of outputs of list rows then question mark body slash value and now as you see over here the single quotes is missing over here so we just need to add the single code else it will throw an error and once this is done make sure that you expand it because if we add some space over here it will again throw an error so make sure that you do not have any spaces over here and once it is good just click on add and this is the output so let's see whether we get an output correctly or not so what we are trying to achieve over here is like we are iterating through this hospital table and we are telling that we know the name of the hospital however we don't know the location why we are using this scenario is because we do not know the id we know the name of the hospital or name of any custom column which you have created right so in my case it is the name of the hospital so the output we should expect is adelaide right so let's run it and see so i'll just run the flow and once you run the flow it will list down all the items over here and if you see the output of this compose so once you click on compose over here you see that the output has come as adelaide right similarly if you have other hospital like say if i have this say regional clinic okay now this is location is brisbane so if i edit my flow and if i 
just change the name of the hospital to regional clinic then it should find that one item and once we get that one item the location should be brisbane and if you see the compose output over here the output is brisbane so that means what we have done we have just used with this one compose statement we have extracted the value from a list of array item and whatever column we want we chose that right so in this case we have extracted location so that means even if you do not have a, an action of get uh, row by name or row by some column we have still achieved that you know just by making use of power effects uh, other thing which you can make some modification within your code is like if you know that this list rows out of this list row you are going to get only one item out of it okay you if you are certain about it you can limit the row count and just say one okay so what happens with this is like it will just only give you one row count and this this will be like kind of a more efficient code now see there are multiple ways to achieve the same functionality now you can even write a fetch xml query or uh, there are other things other logic which you can implement but in this case i just wanted to show you how do you extract a row if you know that you are extracting one row just by specifying say say some column value so in this case it is hospital name so that's it folks this is how you basically extract one row from your entire table uh, using power effects so i would like if you see here this function like uh, here we have used this function uh, just to give a logic about this uh, it's 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 not it's a function basically it's not like a power effects but uh, here we have just extracted the complete output extract the body slash value and then extracted the location using this function thanks for watching